footprint. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. over. Complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblin. But no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <laughs> I'll be in touch. <laughs> Professor Weasley, with one more to be sorted. Welcome. You are just in time. Have a seat. aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Hello, Internet. Uh, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, so, a lot happened last episode. Uh, we were thrown out of a train by a dragon, we teleported into Hogwarts, and here we are. Basically the TLDR. Oh yeah, ancient powers and all that. So let's see, let's see what we do. If I can get my controller to work. Okay, guess I gotta do it with the mouse. Um, can't wait to explore. To exploring Hogwarts and the worlds beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm, what is it? Alright, so our choices are daring, curiosity, loyalty, and ambition. Hmm. <clears throat> curiosity. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Hmm. Yeah, I see it. Hmm. All right, everybody. Gonna be a Ravenclaw. Smart and creative group, apparently. Let's 
So what would that make Hufflepuff? Why is this loading screen taking so long? You belong in Raven Dear God. What is going on? Oh my god. Can... I really don't understand. Oh, my whole computer froze. What the heck is going on? Okay. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. All right, let's talk about what just happened. So, my computer, the entire thing locked up for like five minutes. And then it loaded. That much. I apparently missed a bunch of video. Wow, what is going on? I don't understand. It looks like everyone's gone. Let's head to the common room. Okay, none of my controls are working. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Ooh, look at us go, guys. We have liftoff. Why am I not able to use my controller? Uh, be right back. Okay, we're back to try this again. I got my controller. Wow, this lag's so bad. And I have the quality turned all the way down. This lag makes me sad. What's this? Ugh. What is this? Someone threw a stone bomb. <laughs> Get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Right. Oh, what well. did you hope would happen? I I'm over it, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. 
Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm but fair. If they'll I'm even load. The trick by player as simple as a tossed dung bomb. Then I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm? Ha, I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Everett seems kind of annoying, not gonna lie. This is a nice common room. If it would load. Dear God, man. This is so bad. I want him to be in the perfect place. Place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden goddoes. I want him to thrive here. Golden goddoes. <laughs> my own little Why does my character sound like Harry Potter? From home and I so want him to feel cozy. Disney's I amazing. Listen to it. So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Disney used in Wigan World? See? It really sounds like Daniel Redcliffe. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigan Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. <laughs> like, five years. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. Who We've cares? We've got these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, Garlic. the potions master, cares where you get your ingredients. Garlic. As long as your brews are all perfect. Garlic. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Garlic. Good luck with your Disney. Thank you. What? And good luck to you too on your first day. Wow. This is all I have to say. I don't know if that's clever or lame. Ooh. This quality is so bad. And it's still lagging so bad. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Oh, my God, guy. Close your eyes a little bit. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius Canopus. Why is that guy's eyeballs popping out of his head? I'm Ami. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Ami. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something uh, um, it's my kind of guy. Here in night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I find the stars fascinating. Astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. On my schedule. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all physics. Excellent. Enthralled with the tower. Freaking love astronomy. Can show you things you never dreamed of. That's very true. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Okay, I'm it. Hey there. Who's waiting for? Eyes popping out of his head. Talking about smelling you paper. What? 
Oh, I need to go downstairs. Okay. That makes sense. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Now? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education what? and Ministry, we've devised something extra. Seems a little jacked up. Sure your success. Here you are. I'm gonna take a quiz at the end of the year. To see what kind of career I'm gonna have. What is it? It is a wizard. It's a book. Around. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Where did the book go? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Or you can just explain it to me. This way. We don't have to go through a whole tutorial for a book. The guide will give you opportunities. Why are you walking so fast? And educate yourself about wizarding law. Ah, I love walking and skipping every other step. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Although I will say the character models are actually pretty decent. Their movement looks really fluid. Oh, where am I going? You know, from the little fluidity I can see. Okay. Which, which? Lumos. Oh, nope, that's Lumos. Revelio. <laughs> this bus created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Okay. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points. Okay. Okay, so there's quite a bit. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. <clears throat> rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Professor Weasley. Great grandmother, probably. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Our grandmother? I don't know. I don't know how long this takes place. <laughs> Before or after. Okay. That's good information to have, I guess. Opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit Flu flames? It contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Oh, it's a fast travel point. That's weird. 
Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. It includes the house, common rooms, and great hall. <coughs> Select the grand staircase to continue. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house and common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. The right side of the map is where you will find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central flu flames for you. Use the to rotate the map. Okay, and fast travel to the central hall of flu flames. Okay. Travel. Ten years down the road. Come on. It's like that episode of SpongeBob where the friggin It's it's like where he's like um the old narrator got tired of waiting so they had to hire a new one. That's how I feel about this. Dear God, the loading is ridiculous. And mind you, my computer is decent. There's no reason why it can't load. Why would you make such detailed loading screens? It's literally just a loading screen. It doesn't have to be super interesting. And here we are. Quite the time saver. Yeah, real time slaver. Big time saver. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh, something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I've actually been to King's Cross Station. It's pretty cool. They have a Harry Potter store. Am I still following you? That should be all for now. Oh. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. I know what it is. I, I wonder how to get there. And is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Well, uh, it's a very cursed Dark class. class. The name implies focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Aurors. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, that was a dumb question. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Rowling. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. 
Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Rebellio earlier, I'd say Professor Pig succeeded in at least showing you I mean... He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Do I lie or do I tell the truth? We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and I shouldn't say more. Well, you already exploring said everything. Ruins? Well, I presume Professor Pig has his reasons for keeping the details. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been. Oh. Uh -oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, oh, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't There's say a whole I train. Path, Professor. But unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Of course. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, oh, goody. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. So I was wondering how... I was wondering how they... Um, how they do the classes, you know? Good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels there. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Because yes, well, we're Professor not? Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve. Let's look at the background characters while they're talking. To share details with the headmaster that would be better left between. See if they Understood. do weird stuff. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another... I mean, again, characters. I mean, even the characters in the back look like they're doing random, like... ...enchantment we included in the field guides map. Unfold it and have a look. It's a very lively background. All right, we have a quest log. track available quests from the map and why tell me to open the quest log okay this represents main quest completing main quest will further the story unlock new features and grant XP some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements big space in these cases you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest new spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards track a quest with a to continue the map is enchanted to help you find your way this will be incredibly helpful thank you yeah no joke it sounds like he's quite a day ahead what with classes and a trip to hogsmeade for supplies including your own wand You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. 
I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious lock. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. <laughs> Make sure he gets to class. Here's an enchanted map. Godspeed. Cast Charm Compass. The Charm's Compass will lead you to where... Statue moved. Mm. Okay, I guess I can't. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, the lag is so bad. Guys, I'm not kidding when I say I'm playing on the lowest possible quality. Kind of sucks because it really breaks the immersion of the game. God. What in Merlin's name were you doing in the restricted section? What if you think you'd find that? Answer to your exam. You might have even a trace of dark magic, I'll pull you straight out of school, and that is a promise. Okay, then just start walking normally, I guess. Um, okay. All right, so quests, gear. I should have some. Yeah, make me look cool. Yeah, I don't like that look. Wait, what did that say? Change appearance. Uh, yeah, that's way cooler. Oh. Uh, what? That's so dope. Oh, that's so dope. So, what do I have in my other outfits? Oh. Yes, I'm here for this. This looks amazing. Okay. The Phantom of the Opera. I definitely prefer these. Dark Arts Gloves. Yes! Guys, I'm so here for this look. Oh, here's my little pre-order bonuses. Yeah, my dude looks sick. Collections. <clears throat> okay, that's the stuff I can learn. These are my challenges. Okay, so that onwards me with...
Okay. So this awards me with cosmetics, kind of. Okay. All right, that was very useful. Oh yeah. That looks dope. Let us go in. each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in East of Wales and lived to boast about it. How did you do it? Knowledge. Oh, okay. To the wise, Age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to. Levioso. 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 A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprise opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Bruit? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable <laughs> is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. This was not what I imagined when they said defense against the dark arts teacher. Boop. Levioso. I actually have the uh, the Harry Potter wand, and um, it's cool. You can like master spells on your phone and stuff. The functionality does not work as anticipated because you have to have like a forty dollar light bulb, the Philips Hue bulb, and then it only it only works on some TVs, not even most of them. So. Let us begin with basic cost. Okay. Right trigger. What? See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully demonstrated. Okay, okay, sorry. Now, the basic cast. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well, okay. Done. Ooh, this is going to take some getting used to. Ah, yes, the Draco. Okay, this is gonna be wild, so. Alright, so that's Protego. Your 
Oh yeah, I got it now, sucker. Get wrecked, scrub. Not bad for a beginner. You get as good as you get. <laughs> Me fucking smiling with my damn and you rose to the challenge. Skulls all over my jacket. Thank you, Professor. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark Understood, Professor. Again, well done today. All right. I'd hate to face Professor Hecus in a duel. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. It's a very interesting way to pronounce that name. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm so sorry. Jesus. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that you oh. were quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice. It felt more like I was truly an expert. Sebastian Sala, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deaf. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Make him feel real bad. In fact, it was. Perhaps I had an act for it. Be quiet if you like, but I know better. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. That sounds like a... <laughs> yeah, sounds suspicious. Unsanctioned? I don't know. Yes, school rules to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. <laughs> You just have to be clever enough not Thank to you, get Sebastian. Out. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. Sure, yeah, you but perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today Look at Harry Potter. Actual skill. They only broke the rules. The Battle dragons. If you're interested. Played chess with giant next time. game pieces. E all right, I completed my first challenge. So that means I've unlocked the legendary gloves. I like it. I want it. Gimme, 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 gimme. Hmm. I guess they look much cooler when they're not, uh, <clears throat> you know, 2D. Fifteen HP. Oh my god, stop, please. Good gravy. This place is huge. Oh. 
Okay, well, on that note, I think that's where I'm going to end today's episode. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on the next one, if it loads. Bye.